semester taking classes that dealt with multimedia, be it photography and, and video, I was more, far more interested in that than I was in writing. Everyone has something to say. There's been so many times just walking on this campus where I've gotten to talk to people and I found that they have these amazing stories that need to be heard. Being involved in mass media has probably the most power in the world. They can change people's opinions, they can change pretty much anything. I have always wanted to do something in film and photography ever since I was really little. Uh, and when I came into Fresno State, my first year I was actually a crim major because I didn't know it, it was an option. I chose print because I really enjoy writing and you know I just think that it's, uh, it's, a cre it's creative and that's what I love to do. Sometimes it feels like there's not enough time. Like, you, you know, you can have like a whole semester and have it down to like the last two weeks and that's when you're scrambling. Just not having enough time to do everything. Um, our department provides so much opportunity, whether that's writing full time at the Collegian, I wish I could have done that. Things change and people's opinions change and their views change and trying to keep up with that and always trying to figure out the next best thing, uh, I would say is part of one of the biggest challenges. It was challenging to apply new techniques and new terminology to things that I thought I knew, but could have used some more improvement. One of the main challenges that I faced um, while studying here at Fresno State um, was just being confident in my writing. And now that I'm graduating and I'm a senior, I am a lot more confident and I'm ready to write. My favorite projects that I've always done, it was over at the United Cerebral Palsy Central California Center. And we were just talking about their artwork because it's, it's like an arts and technology center. Jillian Bertolucci, Fresno State Focus. My favorite semester-long project had to be Fresno State Focus. We're producing 10 full newscasts throughout the semester, and you're finding your stories, you're writing them, you're producing, you're starring in them, and then when it comes to showtime, you could be doing anything from audio to lighting to anchoring or anything in between. I was the lead on a campaign we did for the Lyle Center, and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into that project, and a lot of good things came out of it that I was able to put in my portfolio. It was a short documentary about um, a, a pit bull who was neglected and was picked up by Fresno Bully Rescue. And the story just follows the dog Enzo and his recovery, his story, and then what the organization itself reflects upon. We did a oral history project um, for veterans and it was just enriching and, you know, it, it definitely was the highlight of um, my studies here. I feel like I've got tons of experience even though like, I'm not technically in the professional aspect of it. It's just been a lot of, uh, even in classes, there's a lot of hands-on stuff, and I've really felt that that's been the biggest thing that's helped me. We understand the fast-paced environment of a real newsroom, and you know, you're not just practicing, you're actually doing it. Having that hands-on experience with what you learn in the classroom and taking that to the real world is something really valuable. Just expand my horizons and be able to do the things that I want to do, such as documentary, filmmaking, and music videos. Studying here at Fresno State has prepared me for um, my writing career because I'm going to graduate school here at Fresno State. Nothing necessarily lined up, but I'm always looking and trying to get a job and doing something that I love. So next year I will be attending the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism at the University of Southern California as a Dean Scholar. I actually have an interview coming up at Community Medical Centers, so fingers crossed. I was just recently accepted into a job at ABC 30. Um, I want to try to go more into a photography aspect. After graduate school, I really want to just, you know, write. Um, whether that's magazine or online, I just really want to get out there and, you know, publish my work and see what people think. Get to know your uh, fellow students. They're probably the best resource you can have here. Oh, my advice for future students is to do it all, to try to take advantage of all the awesome opportunities that MCJ has to offer and even the campus as a whole. Don't be afraid to be different and take risks. Go to class, um, you know, definitely do the work and if you're really serious about this, then you're gonna have to do the work and, you know, it's fun. The extra experience that you'll get and just hands-on, just learning new equipment, working with other people, it really makes a difference in the long run.